All right, everyone, we have a new trailer to react to, and it's for the new Sonic spin-off series, or miniseries in this case, Knuckles. Now, I've actually enjoyed a number of the Sonic adaptations that we've gotten over the years. Well, I don't think the movies are perfect, but, you know, the first two Sonic films, I think, have been, you know, really enjoyable. I mean, brought us back, you know, classic 90s Jim Carrey, uh, very similar to his performances in, like, um, um, Ace Ventura and The Mask and Liar Liar as Dr. Robotnik. He, he's been the absolute standout, but the movies have been, I think, very enjoyable, and, you know, one of the best aspects of the of the sequel was Idris Elba as as Knuckles. I thought he was very funny. I thought he was you know very well cast, and it makes sense that you know Paramount wants to you know lean more into their um, video game adaptations. And why not Sonic? You know, it's one of their big you know franchises success over the last couple of years. So totally get that. Totally understand that. And uh, you know, it's funny. I actually also enjoy a number of the other like Sonic adaptations that we've gotten. I mean, decades ago, like the original um, Sonic animated shows, it was kind of like dark and and twisted and kind of like post-apocalyptic the, the one with uh, Jaleel White I really like that one too I thought that was a blast so yeah even though I'm not the biggest Sonic video game fan I have like the number of the adaptations and again it, you know it, I think I think we're I, I said this before we're at the precipice of of just a massive video game adaptation wide I think it's just about to truly proliferate in in, in the back half of the 2020s and throughout the 2030s and Sonic was one of the progenitors with that. They were one of the ones that kind of said, like, hey, we can actually treat this property fairly well and, you know, get, get people invested in it. And also uh, serves as an example of, like, hey, this is probably what you should do <laughs> when it comes to video game adaptations. You know, lean into the things that people enjoy about those, uh, those titles, those games. So, in any case, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer. I'll come back with my thoughts. You can come back with your thoughts. And uh, very curious to hear what you guys have to say about this. But let's go ahead and take a look. You're an alien. You're super powerful. Recently saved the world with your friends. What do you like to do for fun? Battle. Vengeance. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Murder. I was thinking more like reading or, or, or yoga. Hey, buddy. Isn't it great to finally relax? I am an echidna warrior. I am relaxed. Keep destroying. They keep destroying that house. Every movie. Because I made a vow to you and the fox. So I made myself at home. Take a something. Nope, we are not Such a cutie. Our living room into some kind of gladiator fighting pit. What is Ozzy doing here? He will be keeps getting destroyed. His greatest enemy. Help me! Someone help me! Been enslaved. This he serves us no now. Place of battle. So I will begin my quest. No way. He's got to say that one point, right? I do not make jokes. I make warriors. Oh, let's go get him. Let's get him. Oh, Rory McCann. His little friends. He's vulnerable. Oh, is he the villain? Oh, He's the key to oh, my newest creation. You worked for Robotnik. Bring me knuckles. Sorry, this lane is reserved. You think you can take my power? Do I look like I need your power? What are you talking about? Of course, he needs his power. He said, he the said the thing from the last here. movie. Ah! Ooh, that time I made a promise. He's got like a rhino suit <laughs> to protect this planet. Another kid in there. I am. <laughs> Ready. Oh snap! Someone's about to get slapped. Oh, he got the rings. April 26, very soon. I think today is gonna be a beautiful day. Hmm? Oh, he's dead. Oh my god, just scraping against the pavement. No, he must learn to rescue himself. I don't think he can. <laughs> Oh, there you go. It looks, it looks cute. It looks cute. You know, yeah. I expected to have the same kind of sensibilities and humor as, um, you know, the the Sonic movies, of course. It's like okay, six episode miniseries. I mean, that's the thing. It'd probably be expensive to just you know constantly animate, you know, Knuckles uh, all the time, and um, you know, and, and just you know, the kind of big CGI uh, uh, spectacle. Although I have to admit, like looking at this, I was wondering. I was honestly wondering, like, all right, now that this is going to be a TV series, streaming series, whatever you want to call it, like. You know, is or is the CGI? You know, the special effects are going to be kind of downgraded. From what I could tell, it looks exactly 
like the first two movies, honestly. And so unless you guys pick something up, unless you guys know us, it maybe got a better eye, better eye than I do. But, you know, in terms of the, the VFX, all that, the CGI, it, it looks, you know, pretty good. Obviously, you know, the humor, little hit and miss, you know, some thought, uh, some things I thought I'm like, oh, that was funny. A little chuckle, all the things like, ah, oh, this is, this is for children. It's for kids, you know, which is totally fine. I mean, you know, Sonic is geared, geared towards kids much in the same way that like Mario is geared towards kids. Like fair enough, fair enough. You know, I'm sure there'll be stuff that there'll be, they'll weave some jokes in there for adults. I mean, the, the, the one thing I will say, you know, I, I didn't expect him to be in here and maybe he'll have like a cameo. I wouldn't be shocked. Um, but Jim Carrey, um, you know, I, Jim Carrey is, I think, the best aspect of, of those previous two movies, he's perfectly cast as Robotnik. You know, again, it's that kind of 90s era Jim Carrey. And Jim Carrey, of course, is an amazing actor. I'm just kind of focusing on his 90s work because, you know, it, it feels like that again. Very, uh, you know, over-exaggerated. Very bombastic. And I was wondering if he was going to show up in this or, or be in this, but, you know, he's probably so expensive they can't even afford him. Although, it was confirmed that he is coming back for the for the third movie, which, not surprised by. I guess it was true. Even though he recently said, it's like, oh, I'm not thinking of retiring. I don't know if I could do this anymore. You know, if I, the next script I get, it's got to be written in gold ink. And apparently, Sonic 3 was written in gold ink because he's coming back for that. He's probably offered another, like, $25 million or something. I, I bet, because I think in the first movie he was paid 20 million i'm sure he that that his salary was upped in the in the next movie and probably even more now so he's probably he's like yeah I'll, I'll keep making these movies people love me for him so there is that so i i was i, I kind of wish he was in this although roy mccann of course you know famously played um uh, he's, he's popped up in a lot of stuff over the years obviously people probably best known for playing um uh, the hound uh, I think Sandor Clegane in Game of Thrones, and he was always great throughout that entire show. Even the the lesser seasons, he was really really good. And obviously, he's been in comedies before. Uh, he was in Hot Fuzz. He played that yarp. He played that guy. <laughs> so yeah, I, did, I had no idea he was going to be in this. So yeah, pretty cool. You know, pretty cool. So yeah, um, it's a fun little trailer. You know, not everything is is you know work in terms of the humor. You know, for me personally, but I think kids are going to like this. I'm sure Sonic fans are loving what they what what they're seeing and. I'm sure at the end of the day, it's going to be a, a, a fun time. Uh, but what about you guys? What did you think of the trailer? Um, did you like it? Did you dislike? Were you mixed on it? I mean, would you like other kind of Sonic spinoffs? You know, I mean, we know we're getting Sonic 3 with Shadow, of course. Do you want, like, a, a Shadow miniseries? You want a, a Knuckles or, you know, sequel series to this if this is a, a huge success? Uh, I mean, please, go ahead and let me know, and I'll see you next time.